Hello and welcome to Shars Craft Haven. Today I'm going to be um, answering some questions people have been asking about how you do some design in Inkscape. Um, today we're going to focus on just the path menu. Um, so union, difference, breaking things apart. Uh, here we go. Here is um, a file that I created uh, in order to uh, make tokens for a game. So basically, uh, you can create shapes. Um, these are all shapes that are separate. And then in the path file, so for example, let me color these so you can see the different shapes. Um, this I've measured to be the size to slot into this um, circle so it can stand up. So I want to combine this all together. So I go path. Union, which is control and plus. Now they will function as one thing. If I um, click shift and then click down a color, I can add a stroke. If I click the X down in the lower left, I can then check my work and see if I have any, any mess ups. So again, I'm going to control Z to undo that. So path union creates one path all the way around. How I created the base so that those would slot together is I took a circle and then duplicate it just so I have two of them. Um, shift control A is the align tools. So I'm going to center it on that. And then whatever's on top is going to be the cookie cutter. So I'm gonna select them and then path difference. And it's going to cut out that shape out of whatever's under it. Again, we can shift click to create um, a stroke around the outside and then check to make sure that that is correct. Let me stroke a little bigger so you can see it more easily. There we go. So the stroke, um, the stroke just helps you to make sure everything's lined up correctly. If there's anything that was off, it would show you in that. So say you get a design and it's wonky. Um, you've bought a design from Glowforge that's made for Glowforge or some other um, thing. You can go path, break apart to break apart the pieces. So say they've, they've combined parts that you want to engrave with what you want to um, cut. That allows you to separate those two. You can group all the things you want to cut out and then do path union. Um, I'll show you another example. This is what I do for texts. So say you have a text that you're not sure exactly how it's going to, um, how it's going to work when you try and engrave it. So you get all set up the way you want it. Let's get a more exotic font. Let's try. There we go. Print clearly. All right. So once you you get uh, the font all set up the way you want it to be, this is a really exotic one. It's got all sorts of curlies. It's going to take a little bit of work. Got to spread these out. There we go. Now we'll try it a little smaller. There we go. 
All right, so now if we want to take this in and engrave it, first thing you want to do is go path, object to path, which is shift control C. Then you're going to want to ungroup it all. So control U a few times. And then again, path, and then control N plus, which is union. So then again, we're going to do shift and click a color, take away the fill. And then you can see what it's going to look like coming in. If you wanted to make a sign or something where all these had to be uh, connected, you could then go in with the path tool and edit those nodes. So slicing, deleting, getting segments split apart, and then combining those segments together. There's a lot more you can do with paths, um, but I'm just trying to give you a very bare minimum. So that way, those are now tied together. And again, bringing this in, it'll show up as a cut line. And then you'll be able to select, and then on the design tab, do fill. All right, if you have any questions on anything I've covered, feel free to uh, let me know in the Facebook group or in the comments. As always, like, subscribe. Um, there's affiliate links if you'd like to support the channel. Um, get yourself a Laserbox Pro or Rotary or the new D1. And I hope you have fun lasering.